Bro, that was a thousand IQ play right there. Jumping on the train as the train is coming by. Literally like James Bond. Literally like Tom Cruise. Let's go, Tom Cruise. I'm gonna start calling you Tom Cruise, Pepper. Start calling you Tom, baby. What's going on, everyone? It's Grizzy, also known as Coach Grizz, coming back with another coaching video in this Apex Coaching series. And today we're bringing you guys plat gameplay from Pepper. He is trying to get to Diamond, trying to get to Masters next season, and we're going to take a look at his gameplay. So thank you, Pepper, for letting us use your gameplay. If you guys are interested in having me coach you guys up, join the Bears Den Discord in the link below, and we'll get you guys to that rank that you want to achieve. So today we're looking at this Platinum gameplay. Pepper plays on mouse and keyboard on PC, and we're going to take a look at it. And this is what we do here. We look at gameplay. We coach you guys up. I make a ton of videos that are going to help you guys improve at the game of apex legends so if you're interested in getting better at this game then you know what hit the like hit the subscribe button and hey welcome to the bears den let's get into this video so as we start to look at higher tier gameplay as we're starting to look at those platinum diamond masters levels what i want you guys to focus on is your teammates positioning and your positioning i want you guys to pay close attention to your mini map in the top left noting where your teammates are at all times covering angles angles are huge in fps games and covering different angles and having great line of sights on the enemy is important and it's going to win you fights and it's going to win you games and rp so we're going to hop into this game we're going to take a look at pepper's gameplay and let's get right into it all right so they hear that people are here inside i like the grenades that he's throwing at the different doors kind of stopping them from coming around as you can see right now if we take note of their third teammate he is out in no man's land he is outside of sorting facility i like to call this area long haul that's what me and my teammates call it that is one thing i also do suggest is with your teammates going through call outs everyone knows and is on the same page on the plan of how you're going to attack and how you're going to defend so right now i want to see mr pepper playing great positioning with his other teammate here a50 gaming and let's see how they do so Pepper's covering the left side, and he pings it out. I like the communication. Peeking the other side. Great. As you can tell, Pepper is doing a great job utilizing this cover to his side. Do you all see his jiggle peek? This is what separates some of you gold players from the platinum players, is that jiggle peek. You see him using that cover on his right side, utilizing the left side and that angle to shoot down the hallway and to look and shoot down towards the right doorway as well. So at this time, you can see that these two have great teamwork right now. You can see that A50 is on the right side of the hallway and he has the right doorway and he can peek and shoot on the left doorway as well while Mr. Pepper here, he is covering that left doorway and assisting with the right as well. You can also see that their random is pushing with the flank. So right here, you want to take note as you're playing these games, span out a little bit. Don't clump up in one position where Nate is going to push all of you guys out at once and you can't cover each other. Angles are so important for teammates to be covering each other because if Pepper needs to heal, then A50 is right there to help assist him if people are going to be pushing him through his lane. Right now, I'm kind of thinking this area having a left lane right here and a right lane, okay? And right now, we have Octane coming from the side to flank, so let's see what happens. All right, so right here, Pepper does a great job. He jumps up here, he grabs high ground immediately. This is a great place to be in this sorting facility location because you can cover this right doorway and you can kind of see people coming in and funneling through this way as well. He's got teammates on his left. If you look at their positioning, they're not all bunched up. They're doing a very good job. So right here, I do think that Pepper does make a mistake 
what he should be doing is he should not be worrying about thirsting this kill. He knows that both the people on the other team are on the roof. The Wraith wasted her phase and she phased out to go up top. Instead of Pepper pushing with the 3v2, he's letting his teammates handle a 2v2 situation, which they should win, but it helps the team win a lot quicker if the three push at once. Now, once again, this is very important in case your team gets third party. If your team gets third party and all three of you guys are upstairs, then that's okay. You guys are together. You can give cover fire. But instead, Pepper is down here by himself. So, Pepper, I would just like for you to stick with your team a little bit better here to go and finish that fight. So again, I want to stress how important it is to get in that early game fight while all the other teams are looting. That is the best time that you get your kill points at the very beginning of the game and at the very end of the game is the safest time to get those kills and then rank up. So they did. They won their fight at sorting facility. They didn't get third party. So this game is starting off to a great start. So I want you guys to take note of where they're rotating next. As you get into those higher ranked lobbies, you need to be thinking more about rotations and how you're going to get to the next area safely. So if you pay attention to the drop ship, this is one thing that Pepper did great is he's looking behind the ship. This is what you should be doing while you're in the drop ship playing rank. You should be looking behind the drop ship, taking note of where the high risky locations are, where everyone's landing. That way you know where the safe rotations are and that way you can win and get to a safe position in the next ring. So if you take note here, a lot of people are heading more towards this train yard area. They're kind of heading towards Capital City. So when they're done with their fight at Sorting Facility, they do a very good job and a very smart play because instead of rotating towards Harvester and towards Capital City, where people are most likely rotating from after winning their fights, they are rotating towards the tree area, which is going to be much safer because not as many people are dropping there. This is allowing them to get a safe rotation to the next area, which is going to set them up for success. We can see a perfect example of here right now. They are getting pressured by a team that is coming likely from the train yard here that is on the train tracks. Nice shots on the wingman. So you get hit hard here by that grenade. That grenade messed you up. So if you guys didn't know, there's actually a trick with frag grenades in this game to make them super useful and way more useful than you think you should use grenades actually. So instead of chucking your grenade right at someone at their feet, which is going to give them a grenade indicator and give them three to four seconds to move away, you should chuck grenades straight in the air to where they have an arc to them and then they'll blow up right on someone's head without really getting a grenade indicator so they can't move out of the way. I'll show you my quick video here of that grenade trick so you guys can check it out and implement that into your gameplay. That was a great grenade by the team. Today we've got a quick trick coming in from Grizzly showing us a new way to use grenades. Now, when you throw a grenade in Apex Legends, there's about a four second fuse timer before it goes off. There's also an indicator warning your victim that they're in the blast radius. But with the caution grenade trick, you're gonna wanna angle your throw vertically so that instead of landing at your opponent's feet, it hangs in the air for its full fuse time before hitting the ground and detonating, giving your opponents no indication that they're about to take maximum damage. Now this trick does take a little bit of practice to get the angle right, so Grizzy recommends opening up the training course and spending some time there practicing. But don't worry, once you get this nailed down, it's gonna lead to some sweet free kills. Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to drop a follow because with season 3 right around the corner we've got tons more quick tips and tricks coming up. Now, what Pepper should be doing here is he needs to help get his team out. There's a Bangalore ult, there's multiple grenades coming in. He needs to portal his team away so that they can get back and find cover and heal up. Let's see what he does here. So instead, he just gets himself out. He doesn't portal his teammates. Right now, A50 Gaming, he's pretty low, but he sees how weak Pepper is, and he's giving him cover fire. He's guarding him while he is getting his battery off. And now, even instead of just sitting here and healing, he applies more pressure on this Bangalore, and he gets her so low that she's one shot with this wingman. So that grenade was a little low to the ground. That's not really going to do much, but I like the frag grenade. You could arc it a little bit more and then it might explode right on their head without them getting a grenade indicator. So, 
as you can see here it looks like they're getting third partied from behind you do have your portal here so i would highly recommend trying to portal your teammate out so lifeline can get that res which is what he does here i would have liked him to do that portal with a little more cover i guess it doesn't matter a ton because lifeline's going to be getting that res and putting up a barrier but maybe being a little bit behind this crate just in case when you start that portal that way you're a little bit safer for the portal I like how he's giving cover fire as lifeline is reviving. All right, so let's take note of their positioning here. We want to always be analyzing positioning and team cohesiveness with their push, okay? So you got Pepper pushing up. I like how he's using this to his advantage right here on the left. And he backs up. He uses that for cover, and he uses that to reload, okay? <laughs> Pepper, baby! Ooh. Bro, that was a thousand IQ play right there. Jumping on the train as the train is coming by, literally like James Bond, literally like Tom Cruise, jumping off, popping shots, finishing the team. Good play right there, Pepper. Hell of a play, dude. Bro, I did some freaking IQ plays there, man, with the he did some IQ plays right there with the chain. Hold on, we gotta watch that again. I'm sorry. Bump, 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 Mission Impossible, baby. <laughs> Let's go, Tom Cruise. I'm gonna start calling you Tom Cruise, Pepper. Start calling you Tom, baby. The ring is going to be closing in in 13 seconds, so they notice that there's two teams over here, and they have to rotate that way. That range right there is not appropriate with the R99. That is not going to do anything, but maybe tickle his toes a little bit. I you do 12 damage there, but you're poking your head way too long. You're risking your life there just to do a little poke with the R99. I really don't like that. Um, I think you should have your wingman out being on top of the train like that is very risky as well Because you can't really laterally strafe you might fall off and then get yourself killed So I think you guys should try to push up towards the end of the train tracks and try to act like you're going to be pushing that team in the middle Instead of backing up and getting away for that fight because you are going to be getting the rest of your kill points at the end of the game when there's about four or five squads left So yeah, at this point, you're not going to do a whole lot of damage. Even if you kill that team that's inside that house in between the two teams, you guys are going to get immediately third-partied and the ring is closing in. I highly recommend showing some pressure towards that team inside so they do not come out and try to push you, and then just rotating out before the other team can get there as well. You don't really need to be poking this guy on this mountain right here. You just need to be focused on that other team. Yep, apply pressure to that team inside a little bit. Back off, get out. You do not need to be in this fight at all. Don't need to be looking anymore. Just keep moving. You're spending way too long here. I know you're thirsty for those kill points, but they're going to come. They're going to come later on. You're getting a little bit risky pushing up here. That other team's got to be moving as well, so... You guys should just get out. You should have got out a little bit earlier. You wasted your Q there. You could have just hit the jump pad. If you guys getting pushed from another team up here, you, you wasted your Q and you don't have that there. So they do a really smart play here because they see that that team just took that balloon. They headed over towards sorting facility, towards the tree where this circle and this game's going to end. Now instead, they're going to use the portal. They're going to be able to get around this mountain with the portal. And that's just another reason why Wraith is super important to have on your team because she has a portal to help maneuver the squad for safe rotations. Speaking of safe rotations. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> what is that guy doing? He's just chilling up here on top of the mountain. Nice. That was really good teamwork. <laughs> Lifeline's drone, what's going on? A50 gaming, man. You have to, you might have to get that repaired. Look. It's it's not sucking me. That's what he said. <laughs> it's not sucking me. 
So something picky that I'm seeing is kind of his inventory management. I like the amount of light ammo he has. This is great. I like the amount of heavy ammo. This is one great part about using the wingman is you don't really need tons and tons of ammo for it. The other thing is I think you have way too many cells. I think grenades are super duper important in this game. I think you could get rid of two of these slots for probably more grenades. Maybe a couple more thermites. I do think thermites are really useful because they can block the line of sight of enemies. They can also go and they can hit down doors. They can damage enemies through doors, sometimes through walls, which I don't understand why they can do that. But I really like thermites. Maybe grab a couple more thermites and drop a couple of those cells. So somebody's got a Kraber on that team. So, if you take a look at the situation, right, first off, their positioning, their only cover is kind of towards the left here. They can go under, but then they give up that even ground, and the team will just be on top of them, which I wouldn't advise going down and around that way. You guys really don't have any room to push this team that has this Kraber. I don't think you guys should be sticking around to even poke your head and even try to do a whole lot here. I think you guys should try to get out as soon as possible. Go to the right, go towards that tree where it's safer, and just get the heck out of Dodge right here. So like I just talked about, thermite grenades, people don't think about this, but this throws off line of sight. It's tough to see them. It's tough for them to see you through that fire, which is nice. You can throw thermites like that and use that as an opportunity to run. So maybe throw that thermite there like you did, and you guys run towards the tree right now. Just giddy up. The Q, the awkward Q. So I talked about this with my Wraith guide. Whenever you Q, I want it to be with a purpose. I don't want you to just Q out of nowhere. And when you Q, a huge tip for anybody watching is you want to change eye levels. That's how I like to put it. When you Q and you're being chased, I want you to go try to get high ground. Use that high ground to your advantage if you're getting pushed. Here he Qs when he's not really even in danger and he Qs to be in the middle of the train tracks. I'm really not sure why you wasted your Q here. If anything, I would have kept the Q and then I would have dropped down here and been running towards the tree for cover. And if maybe you get popped or something, you can Q behind a rock to kind of run away. But here, they have a Kraber right here. If you're facing like an Apex Predator, you're a pro player and Diamond Masters Pred lobbies, you're probably going to get your head taken off right here. You don't even need to be involved in that. So take note, there's four squads left. The easiest way to get wins in this game and ranked is waiting for these last teams to get really involved, get some knocks, and get in there and clean up just like a janitor, okay? So you're taking a lot of time looking over at this team. I know that you have an Evo shield. You want to get more damage so that you can level up to a red, right? But you're going to get that here in a little bit. What I would have liked for you to do is pay less attention to this team. You know, a headshot with a wingman from this range isn't going to knock anyone. They're going to get the revive off. They're going to get the heal off. You're not going to apply pressure to this team from this range with a wingman. You need to be looking more towards your right where all the other teams most likely will be and kind of prepare in that way, getting eyes, keeping count of all the other teams, trying to locate where each team is. So I always talk about this. You look up, there's four squads left. There's 12 players, which means every single squad has a full three man always 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 look at that look at the numbers of the players and look at the numbers of the squads so you know you have that team that was far left you know you have this team at the ring building as i call it and you know they're shooting towards your right as well it looks like so maybe team over this way team here team here and you guys so if you look the team with the best positioning is probably this team over here towards the right a devo Devo's ends lives. It ends careers. Things nasty. So you could see that enemy team taking the zip line to push. That means you know where every single squad is. They are all in sorting facility. It sounds like some team might be up towards this way above this big house. And it sounds like two teams are going at it at this ring building. Now is your perfect time. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Get over to the side, get towards the zip line to where you can guard that zip line or you could take that zip line. 
you guys are on the very edge. When this ring closes and ends, it's not going to stay. It's not going to go around you guys right here. It's going to go more towards the center of this ring. While the other teams are distracted, you guys need to rotate over here. Use this mountain to your advantage. There's a zip line over there as well, so that means that when a team is trying to leave and run away, they might zip line right into you, or you could zip over on top of them and push and win the game. Yep, get over here to this rock. Not there. Get over here. Yep. Guard that zip line with your life. Guard that zippy zip. Guard that zippy zip. So here, I also like to look at the kill feed. Watch the kill feed. Watch for knocks. If you see lots of knocks and two or three squads left, get in there. Clean it up. I don't know what your teammate's doing. He's all the way over here. I don't know what he's... That dude is in no man's land. Where is he going? He kind of he messed you guys up because you guys could have got in there, probably ziplined by now. But instead, your octane's off in the middle of no man's land, skipping around, collecting daisies. Yep, this is the best cover you guys got right now. That Devo's scary even at that range, man. Nice. Using the house for the Bangalore ult. Okay. Take some cells. I don't know why you're not taking cells while you're in there. You could have took taken cells earlier. Could have probably taken two cells by then. Use that rock to your advantage down there. Jiggle peek, baby. I like how you started with the hip fire to charge it up and then ADS. That's that's how you use that Devo. You charge it up if they're close with the hip fire and then you ADS. Aim down sights. So somebody's got red. It might be this bang here. Good knock. Race right here. I think she's the last one alive. And I don't know what you do here. You just kind of... Hi, Bangalore. Hi. Okay. Hey. Oh, and your teammate goes down. Okay. Do you know what you did wrong here? Because I don't know why you didn't thirst this. No matter what color armor this guy's got... It's better than what you have. I'm pretty sure it was a red when you guys were fighting. Um, just thirst this guy immediately, okay? Back here. You knock him, right? Push up. They need help with this wraith. That's fine. Don't worry about the thirst yet. They need help with the wraith. Pop shots. She's gone. Turn around. Thirst immediately. Thirst, thirst, thirst. Thurster, grab the armor. If it's blue, if it's purple, if it's red, just grab it and go. Help A50 Gaming immediately. Just make things a little bit more easier. Don't forget about armor swaps. All right, GG's. Pretty solid game. Hey, if you can keep doing that, man, you're well on your way to diamond for sure. All right, so Pepper also plays as Watson. So we're going to check out his Watson gameplay here, see what he can do better, see what he can improve on. So I like that you're going up towards the rev ult to utilize that. But I don't know why you're placing this this Tesla, this ultimate ability, this pylon right here. Because the storm's coming in. The storm is going to just be right there. You're going to be sent back to the totem potentially. You're going to have to get out of there immediately. I think you hold on to this uh, ultimate ability here. Alright, caustic down, team down. All right, so take a med kit immediately. Med kit right here. Don't cancel it. Med kit finished off. Two thousand years later. Don't cancel it. Med kit. Just stick it at this point, dude. <laughs> oh, how long was that? I'm sorry, dude. That felt like forever that you're trying to take a med kit. All right, so you start taking a med kit at. 2442 and it's 2453 so you wasted 11 seconds trying to use a med kit you could have used a phoenix kit in that amount of time to be efficient so yeah i don't know what you're doing there but make sure you're sticking that heel so you're going into this fight healthy now let's keep a look at their positioning okay yep they're back here great grenades 
Again, you could potentially arc them up high to where they drop down and they hit them right on the head. They don't give them any grenade indicators and boom. Okay. Nice nades though. Finish your heal off. You're good. All right, you get one knock. All right, you have a gold bag. That's huge. All right, so let's pay attention to their positioning here. They're all using this rock. Don't have everybody poke the same exact way. Somebody's got to watch right side. I like that lifeline drone. That's huge. I don't know what, Pepper, you're doing right now. I think this is what is the downfall of your team right here. You ran away from cover. You, you took yourself from here and you just ran out in the open and you're Watson with no maneuverability and you just get laser beamed. And you could even, you even have time to heal back there. So if you go back, if you see where A50 gaming is right here, you didn't have to keep moving. You could have tried to pop a heal right here really fast, but I don't know why you're backing out of this fight. This fight is still even. You're healthy. You're all the way healed up. You all just knocked one. They just knocked one. Um, you guys are fine. Stay on that same level ground. You're losing high ground. You're giving them height advantage. You never want to give a team height advantage on you. So try to keep that level ground here. Don't run away. Don't run out in the open. And you could have even healed back here before trying to run. So at this point in ranked, you just have to get out. And it happens to the best of us where you lose your teammates, you're a solo, and you literally have to rat to the top, okay? Don't be ashamed, guys, finding the best hiding spot and hiding until, like, there's the top three squads and you try to just third party as a solo to win the game, okay? So don't be ashamed of it. It happens to the best of us. You know, you win some, you lose some. So at this point, you just get out and you just try to rat until you can gain some RP so you're not losing that 36 or that 48 RP for that game. So to summarize everything, big tips to keep in mind. Positioning. Look at your teammates' positioning. Cover angles together. You take one angle on the left, your teammate takes another angle on the right. Maybe have somebody flank from another side. Have good spacing and don't all clump up in one area. Again, make sure you're jiggle peeking. He did a great job with that throughout the games. Another thing, we talked about the grenade tip. What you can do with frag grenades in this game, instead of throwing them at someone's feet, you can arc them up in the air and they will drop down and immediately explode on somebody's head and it will do massive damage sometimes. Another tip is for Wraith is make sure you're queuing into safe location and you're using that when you absolutely need it when you need it as a last resort to get out also make sure when you're queuing you're changing eye levels you're either going higher or you're going lower that way you're harder to track and harder to find it's also important to try to get high ground once you queue that way you can utilize that high ground to your advantage if you're getting pushed so you can finish and win the fight another tip is just don't give up high ground that is a big thing in this game if you guys are on a level even playing field do not run away and position yourself on the low ground. It's going to ruin it for your team. Even if one player gets out of position, it can ruin the entire team's fight. Another tip, make sure you're watching behind the drop ship, taking note of where the hot areas are where everyone's landing. That will allow you to know where the safest rotations are so that you can make it late in the game. Finally, the biggest tip of them all, watch more Grizzly videos. Guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. If you guys really like this video and like this series, make sure you like the video so I know that you guys enjoyed it and that I should bring it back in season six. Thank you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm Grizzy and I'm out.